And this painting is found in the Museum of the Fine Arts in Boston. And we'll look at a couple other things that he did. There you go. So this is, this is the painting that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it kind of poked it up a little bit. And here's Jesus healing. And then this is just a landscape. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Kathy, yes. Just let me interrupt one minute. We're not recording. So maybe with your next slide, we can start recording and use this for either Sunday school or just to have it on uh, Facebook. Is that okay with you and everybody else? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Okay. So as yep. you start the next one, just pause a minute and I'll start recording. Okay, sounds like a plan. There we go. Go for it. Okay, so and now as, as we start recording, now we have the, some of the more modern things, but mm -hmm. what's the story? Bring little children unto me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And where do we find that in the Bible? Well, it's in gospel, in one of the gospels. I don't know which one, really. Mm -hmm. Or how many. Well, yeah. <laughs> probably, probably more yeah. than one. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you think the title could possibly be? Children come unto me. That's good Jesus title. and the children. That's a great title. Mm -hmm. Remember, the title's don't have to be exactly what mm -hmm. the the artist said because yeah. that's art right you get yeah. it and you interpret so it's all good mm -hmm. uh anybody have a clue who may have done this um it's more contemporary feel so i'm, I'm not sure it's not one of the ninja turtles <laughs> Oh, then I won't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look and see. So it, it is Jesus and the children. Yay! There's two places in the, gospel where I, in the Gospels where I found it, in Mark 10 and in Luke 18. And it's Emil Noldi. Is he familiar to anybody? Yes. I've heard the name, but not really. Okay, so yeah, he's from Germany, and again, you know, like leaning that way because it's what mm -hmm. I know. Sorry, uh, but he's <laughs> from Brucke. Brucke is a bridge, and that was the name of the group that kind of hung out and did painting like this. So it wasn't exactly like landscape, real stuff. It's kind of moving into more abstraction, and that's mm -hmm. the bridge thing. And you find this at MoMA, so. New York will open again, and the next time you're there, you can check it out. And if you don't, it does cost to go into MoMA, and it mm -hmm. is expensive. But mm -hmm. if you happen to be in New York on a Friday night, after 5 o'clock, MoMA is open for free until they close. So, again, that's pre-COVID-19, and who knows? Yeah, who knows? What us. Mm. And here's some other Nolde paintings. Mm. Now, again, like I showed these to Roger, and he's looking at this and he's like, eh. but, <laughs> but you know, if you get past the initial shock. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and look at the, the expressions on the faces mm -hmm. and what's going on here. Uh, when you get past that, I think it's a good story that's spoken and told well. Mm -hmm. The faces almost remind you of the uh, portrait of the scream because of very elongated faces and that, you know? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, and it's very close to the same time period. Right, there. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's figure out another one. Ah, 
what do you think the story could be? The uh, demons going into the hogs. Oh, that's good. I didn't think of that. It's not that, but that's, that would that? be good. Oh, oh okay. Hmm. <laughs> And I'm at a loss. Yeah. Uh, Looking for like a well or something, but I don't see that um, either. Mm -hmm. All right. So how about if I tell you it is a parable? Mm. And this guy has a brother. Uh. Is this the return to the prodigal son? It is. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. okay. Before he returns. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, he's eating because the that's, food that the that's hogs have. That's what he's thinking. The food that the hogs even had looked good to him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Do we remember that story? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, any clue where that is in the Bible? Um. Once again, I forget which gospel it's in, but I know it's in one of the gospels. I'm not sure of the actual one, though. All right. Yeah. I think it's Luke. Is it Luke? I think. Well, we'll find out in a moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Luke. And it is Luke. Give it a title. Uh, Prodigal Son. Prodigal. Good title. Great title. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any idea who may have created this? Mm -hmm. It is a, it's a print. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, the guy, like the artist carved this into a block backwards and then they printed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> Good. They're not done yet, are they, Luann? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had to find some insurance papers. No. Uh, oh, insurance is helpful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's the prodigal son, and it's in the Gospels, and we're not sure who did it. And I'm going to think that we don't know where this is located. Okay. All yeah. right. Look. It's only in Luke. Okay. Right. Luke 15, and uh, it is entitled The Prodigal Son Amid the Swine. From 1496, it's Albrecht Dürer. Yeah. You probably know some of his works, and I'm hoping that in the next slide that I show you, you'll recognize some of his stuff. Yeah. Uh, painting, pencil, it, he, his house can still be seen and toured in Nuremberg. And this painting happens to be in the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam. But it's not a painting, it's a print. Mm -hmm. But it was in Reading at the yeah. Reading Museum. Yeah. Maybe four years ago, five years ago, they had an exhibit of Dura's prints, and that was there. I must, I went to that. So maybe I saw it and I didn't even realize it. You very likely did. <laughs> Yeah. So here's some of his other stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the hands. I mean, that's so common. Yeah, that should be. I think everyone has a representation yeah. of that. Yeah. And, yeah. And of course, the bottom, all the kids, when they look at it, they think it's Jesus, but it's really a self portrait <laughs> of Dura. <laughs> And the one on the left is in the National Gallery in Washington. It's my picture that's, that's kind of on the side. But I, I took it because I use that um, when I'm either teaching how to use art for teachers to use art in world language or mm -hmm. using it with students. So do you, can you like guess what that story could be? Mm -hmm. 
see, this is the way you bring biblical stuff into the classroom without mm -hmm. knowing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So look here. What's going on back here? Mm -hmm. Can't really tell. Is it fire? It is fire. And more, right? Because there's a lot of smoke going on. Reading, reading Sodom. That's ah. Ah, uh, okay. Look at that. Yeah. Look, look here on the path. Ah, uh, yep. That's what yep. happens when you look back. Ah, yes. Yeah. And who yeah. is that? She was salt of the earth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's Lot's wife in the yeah. back. So oh, that's the rest of the family leaving, I would say. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So at first we don't see any of that, but you know, you have mm -hmm. to kind of focus in on parts yeah. and then you get it. And of course the kids don't know the story at all. So uh, yeah. give them a little bit of the story and, and maybe they find out more, or maybe they don't, but you know, mm -hmm. you plant seeds where you can. Yeah. Next. Ah. What's the story? Mm -hmm. Oh, the woman who out and touched his robe. Yeah. 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 Could be. Or is that stone? The stoning of a uh, Magdalene? Is that what that's supposed to be? Okay. So it is. It's supposed to be like stoning the woman who mm -hmm. was in sin. And you mm -hmm. can see, like, this person has a stone up here. Yeah, yeah. And do we know where that is mm -hmm. in the Bible? Not sure of the gospel, but I, or if it's in, in a few of them, but I, I'm not sure of that. But. Give it a title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, how uh, about any clue who could have painted this? Um. Or where we might find it? Nope. All right, nope. let's look. So this is, it is an adulterous woman. It's in John. Okay. And the title is Christ and a Woman Taken in Adultery. And it is Max Beckman. Mm -hmm. Is that name familiar? No. Nope. Expressionist. No. Mm -hmm. uh, you find a lot of his paintings, there's a whole museum dedicated to him in Chemnitz in Saxony, Germany. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you find his stuff in, in lots of museums. And this painting just happens to be in the St. Louis Art Museum. Mm -hmm. Who'd have thought? Um, but mm -hmm. that's where it's at. So let's mm -hmm. look at a couple other things he did. Mm -hmm. The one on the left might be familiar. That's one of his more famous paintings. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, expressionists, you're going into things that are not always comfortable for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to look on. Ah, what do you think? What's the story? Anybody know storyline? Anybody there yet? 
<laughs> well, it's obviously Jesus praying, but where is the question? Is it the wilderness? It's... Or is it by the sea? It is. It is. It is the wilderness. Uh huh. Yeah. So, what was going on during this time when he's in the wilderness? So it's the temptation of Christ. Yeah, yeah. And we don't, so this is kind of different. Usually, when you see the temptation, you think of the devil being there with him. Mm -hmm. um, but, so, this is kind of a, a different focus on that. And it could have been a lot because we often see in the Gospels that Jesus goes by himself to pray, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why I wanted to pick that because, you know, just to recall some of those times for you. Um, I feel as though I've seen this before. Yeah, mm -hmm. it could be. Mm -hmm. uh, any clue who the painter may have been? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or where you may have seen this before? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look. Mm -hmm. So it is Christ in the Wilderness. It's by Kramskoy, and he is mm -hmm. a Russian. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was really involved in trying to get art out to the people. Uh, this is in the, the mid-1800s. Lots of things are going on in Russia then. Um, and this is in the gallery in Moscow. Um, now they open and everybody can see it. So the the... Christ in the wilderness, the temptation is in those three gospels. But again, this could have been anywhere mm -hmm. because it's just Christ by himself alone. Mm -hmm. Some other paintings this guy did? Mostly it's the common people because that's where the money came from. Um, to paint that type of a mm -hmm. scene rather than something that was based on scripture. <laughs> oh, what's the story? Can you tell if it's a man or a woman? Can you see that um, there's something on its head? <laughs> yeah, something. So it's a crown. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it is a woman. Can I guess what the story is? Kind of, a, yeah, it had a little bit of an Egyptian feel to it. Is it Esther? It is Esther. Esther. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to put her in, but I had to find something that you haven't seen before in the stuff that I shared and uh, I, I knew that you hadn't seen this one um, and of course it's found in the book of Esther. Want to give this a title? With the crown Queen Esther? I don't know. Sure. Any clue who painted it? No. All right. Or where it might be found? Okay, let's look. So it is Esther. It's called Queen Esther. It's by Abram Dayan. And he is from Morocco. And he is alive today. He was born in 1960. Mm -hmm. 
this was when I was searching for this. I don't know that it's still accurate, but when I was searching for this, it's on Artspur and it's currently for sale. So if you want to have that in your living room, you can go put a bid on it and buy it. <laughs> If you need the link for that, get in touch with me and <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> Here are some other things that he did. Um, definitely contemporary. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Probably a little different than you're used to. But, um, yeah, that cubist thing really comes out in there. Mm -hmm. But kind of cool that we have a contemporary guy who painted Esther, and he's mm -hmm. from Morocco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. <laughs> Sacrifice his son. Yeah. The binding of Isaac. Yep. yep. Uh, a, all right. Good, good title. Do we know where this is in the Bible? Genesis. All right. And I'm pretty sure you don't know this artist, but, but I'll just put it out there. Do you happen to know the artist? No. So let's. So it is the binding of Isaac, and it's in Genesis 22. The artist is Darius Gilmont. I don't have a birth date for him. He's from London, but he now lives in Israel mm -hmm. uh, since 1993. And this is in a private gallery in Israel, and he really focuses on biblical art. Um, and, you know, it looked like a painting or a, a picture that you would find in the kid's Bible, I thought. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and I, that's why I put it in. Um, but here's some other paintings that he did. Mm. Interesting. Mm. And all biblical. Mm -hmm. I love the color. Story. What's the story? Well, what do you see? Hmm. Is Cain and Abel? Ah, you are absolutely right. Right. Somebody killing somebody else. It's Cain and Abel. Where do we find that? Genesis. Yep. Yep. Um, do you want to guess a title? Cain and Abel. <laughs> Good guess. Excellent guess. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only ones I've gotten right so far. That and boom. <laughs> Any clue who this artist might be? This is a name I think you might be familiar with. And you've not seen this before? No. Okay. So oh, it is Kate, okay. and mm. it's by Mark Chagall. Yeah. And he happened to be, so, you know, like he didn't live that long ago. Um, mm. But, and he was from Belarus, which at the time was part of Russia, and then mm. it was, and then it was, and you know, <laughs> like they were liberated many times. Mm. He was Jewish, and being a Jew in that time period was, was kind of a unique mm. setting. Yeah. This artwork was recently called adoption, so I can't tell you where it's located right now. Mm -hmm. um, but it was up for sale, I want to say at Sotheby's, but I could be wrong. It may have been mm -hmm. a different one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and here are some of his works that you may be more familiar with. 
Mm. He's not really known for his biblical art, I don't mm. think. All right, ready to that do sun looks, one? That sun looks like a fried egg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And the couple's kind of leaning to the side. So are they going up the hill of a marriage or are they falling down from their marriage? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, what's the story? Um, Jesus preaching in the temple. Good guess. Not it. Hmm. Sermon on the Mount? But not. Could be. It's not. <laughs> Is that John? Very timely. Could be, but it's not. Timely. Okay, so we're in, in Pentecost, the Holy Spirit, uh, mm -hmm. the Great Commission. No, go back to Cindy. So who's the one that talked when we're at Pentecost? Peter. Yeah, so this is supposed to represent Peter at Pentecost, talking to everybody and telling what's going on. And I wanted to have that on and, and end with a Pentecost thing because it was last mm -hmm. week, Pentecost. But we just passed Pentecost, so it's all okay. Mm -hmm. So this is, it, it is indeed a sermon. It's Peter preaching at Pentecost, Veneziano who happens to be from Venice. So you can kind of see a, a link in the names there. 1300s, uh, and it's in the Staatliche Museum in Berlin. But, but I wanted something with Pentecost in there and mm -hmm. have to remember that that was around somewhere. And here are some other things he did. Mm. So you know when you're looking at something on the left, like with the mm. yellow, bright, shiny stuff, it, that's usually gold, but it's gold plated. Mm -hmm. So they like hammer gold really thin and then they kind of like mold it into mm -hmm. whatever the shape is that's underneath. Yeah. So that's, that's it, boys and girls. That's all I got for you. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that was great. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. A nice, yeah. relaxing way to start a morning. <laughs> so you took a, a little gallery walk there yes. through time and through the Bible. And, uh, and I don't have a trivia book to use. So this is by <laughs> the best. Oh, this, no, this was, this was great. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So thanks for joining me. And I think we need somebody to do trivia for next week. Anybody want to jump on with that? If you smile as you. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Jack. You didn't do it yet. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you and Mary can can team up. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll be talking to you. I'll talk to you next week and we'll confirm. Okay. Hopefully our internet connections will be stable and we'll have this down to a fine art. Okay. You know, so we, and I, I do have this saved. So if somebody, you know, like who wasn't able to join us just wants to see it, I can mm -hmm. tell good. it them and we can do that okay. Okay. Maybe, terrific. Can you just, Kathy can you just post it on Facebook are you able to do that with your files mm, I don't know <laughs> I can why try. don't you try to just post it to um, the church Facebook 
and then everybody can access it. Yep. They're comfortable with that. I am. Yep. Can, no problem. I'll try it. You didn't start recording it, until partially the way through. And then I think there was a glitch with the internet, so we may not have gotten all of it anyway. So, you know, if you have the complete works, it would be nice to do it from, fin you know, beginning to end. Yep. Happy to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Try it. Okay. Or do you know how to do it or? No, I'll give it a try. If I can't get okay. it, I'll get in touch with you. Call me, whatever. Yeah, thank you. Great, great, great. Thank you. Thanks. All right. It was okay. great, everybody. Yeah. Sunday. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Can, you. To, can I talk to you real quick bef before you um, sign off? To me? Please. Louis. Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about trees. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. okay. Pastor's on the phone. So you had one giant tree that you had to get down? But well, it, down. it came down. Yeah. He's, he's cutting it up and cleaning it up. Okay. Can I ask you how much it cost? Six fifty. Okay. That isn't bad. Yeah, no, that's not bad at all. I mean, we're going to end up paying probably $1,700 for one huge tree, which is probably like $1,000 on its own, mm -hmm. like two, three others. So I guess that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to have more. I think Dennis is going to take some of them down himself. But yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, the one, the huge one, there's no way we could do that. You know, yeah. there's where they are. It's like precarious to hit like our neighbor's garage on the other side. It's like, now I want somebody to do that in case anything happens. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the neighbor's on board with it and you know, he's, it's okay. But still, if something would happen, you know, it's just such a pain. Yes. Finally it got is. my yard looking half decent and I'm like, oh, they're going to take we down and everything is going to be a wreck again uh, but we just have branches everywhere from the other yep. day yep i'm gonna show you my bluebird yes let me see <gasps> luann that's beautiful <laughs> oh you have to you have to you have to show pastor and here's here's my Aww. tulips <laughs> that's cool i love it and, and i'm going to make this into a card for bonnie Oh, those are forget me nods. Oh, nice. yeah, <laughs> that'll she'll love that. She'll love that. Oh, have you talked to Bonnie? Not since last week. Okay, yeah, I, I talked guess. to her. Was it yesterday? I guess we we just we text chat like we're be yeah. working or doing something and we're like texting each other. So well, that's what we've been doing because I've been checking into her for mutual ministry. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Did well, she get unemployment yet? No. 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 Because no. last week she said it was moved to pending. So she yeah. thought she'd be getting it soon. I don't did she correct like that she would get what she was supposed to get? Yeah, yeah, that was all taken care of. Oh, of thank it. God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My gosh. Well, you know, I'm anxious to see what happens now that we're gonna move to yellow, like, you know. I think people are just going to be running going to all come out and go places. nuts, you know? Yes. 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 I think that's what's <laughs> going to happen. I mean, I was down at school for a couple of days because um, the kids had to come in and like get their stuff and hand in their computers. And, you know, I said, I'll come down. I'll, I'll stand outside, direct traffic, you know, do whatever you want me to do. I really don't want to be in the building if I don't have to be. I should have been in the building because... <laughs> People were pulling up to get instructions. Not one of them had a mask. So I'm, I have my mask on and they're like screaming in my face, of, you know. Um. <laughs> but I think, I mean, I was outside, the wind was blowing. It was, you know, I, I, you got to start to get back into it somehow. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, it's heartbreaking. I, I'm picking up Jaden this afternoon. This morning Good. was her last day of school. And I'm taking her for ice cream. Good. So, yeah, I'm you gotta so, start. So you gotta start. Her. 
Yep, absolutely. Yeah, I think this week we'll break down and go see the family because I can't stand it much longer. <laughs> now, AJ, he is not, he's, you know, because of being in the hospital and he's with COVID patients all the time, he's like, Mom, I'm not going to see you till next year. I'm like, oh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, we had vacation plans scheduled with him and, you know, I've, I haven't, I mean, he's away, but I, we usually see him like every two months or so, like three months.